From time to time, your sanitary pump requires routine maintenance to ensure peak operating efficiency. This video will teach you the standard service procedures of the Waukesha Cherry Burrell Universal 3 pump with single mechanical seals. It is important to note the use of a food-grade lubricant in the maintenance procedure to ensure proper operation of the pump and its internal components. Use of other types of lubricant may cause damage to internal components, resulting in a malfunctioning pump. Please refer to the operation manual for additional details on where and how to apply lubricant throughout the maintenance process. Remove the cover nuts from the cover. Using a soft hammer, tap the cover off the body studs and dowel pins. To lift the cover on a 210 or 320 size U3 pump, attach an eye bolt to the threaded hole in the cover and attach lifting straps or chains to the eye bolt. Next, remove and inspect the cover gasket. Place the cover on a protected surface with the finished surfaces facing up. Use the rotor blocking tool to keep the rotors from turning when removing the rotor nuts. SPX Flow recommends using a non-marring socket tool for removing and installing the rotor nuts. When working on a rotor, always block the rotor against the body and not against the other rotors as damage may occur. Remove and discard the rotor nut o-rings from each rotor nut. Remove the rotors by hand and place them on a protected surface to prevent damage to these close tolerance parts. Remove the rotary seals and rotary seal o-rings from the rotors. Next, remove the stationary seals from the pump body and then remove the stationary o-rings from the seals. Lubricate and install the stationary seal o-ring onto the stationary seal. Install the seal into the pump body. Align the notches in the seal with the tabs on the drive ring. Push the seal into the pump so that the o-ring can seat in the bore and hold the seal in place. After installing the stationary seal, gently push on it. The seal should spring back freely. If it does not spring back, check the seal installation. Repeat the process for the other shaft. Next, lubricate and install the rotary seal o-ring into the rotor. Next, install the rotary seal by aligning the notches in the seal with the drive pins on the rotor. After installing the rotary seal, it should fit solidly in the rotor. Make sure the o-ring is not pinched. Repeat the process for the second rotor. Align the timing spline of the rotor and the pump shaft and push the rotor onto the shaft. Repeat the process for the second rotor. Lubricate and install the rotor nut o-rings onto the rotor nuts. Apply a small amount of food-grade anti-seize compound to the shaft threads and install the rotor nuts. Use a non-marring socket with a torque wrench set to the torque value indicated in the manual. Insert the rotor blocking tool to prevent the rotors from turning and tighten each rotor nut. Remove the rotor blocking tool after torquing. Next, lubricate and install the cover gasket into the groove on the pump body. Align the cover holes with the studs on the pump body and install the cover. Apply anti-seize compound to the threads and install the cover nuts by hand. 
with a torque wrench set to the proper value as found in the manual. Tighten the cover nuts in a cross pattern. Following these procedures will help you properly maintain your SPX Flow Waukesha Cherry Burrell Universal 3 pump to maximize operating life and maintain process integrity. To order genuine OEM replacement parts or special tools, contact your authorized Waukesha Cherry Burrell sales representative or visit www.spxflow.com/wcb for more information.